Okay, I have two thoughts regarding permaculture and one question for you. First, I would like to share with you that I have a small hobby farm in which I implement permaculture. My first thought is that by using permaculture, I have changed the ecosystem of the particular piece of land. Therefore, I have exterminated, well, I should say my animals, which include chickens, goats and rabbits, have exterminated many types of insects and small animals that live in that land. So yes, I can obtain sustainable life without fomenting the use of mass agriculture and mass industrial needs, but I have changed the natural ecosystem. So if we all do this, eventually we will reduce drastically the amount of species in the world. My second thought regarding permaculture is that, as the name implies perma from permanent, I believe, we are manipulating evolution. We are telling nature what to do and how to do it with our advanced brain power. Which is somewhat controversial, I think, for what we're trying to accomplish, the people that are trying to save the earth. So, I would like to know what are your thoughts in these two subjects. Thank you. The word permaculture, coined by Australians Bill Mollison and David Holmgren during the 1970s, is a portmanteau of permanent agriculture as well as permanent culture. Through a series of publications, Mollison, Holmgren and their associates documented an approach to deciding human settlements, in particular the development of perennial agricultural systems that mimic the structure and interrelationship found in natural ecologies. Permaculture design principles extend from the position that the only ethical decision is to take responsibility for our own existence and that of our children. Mollison. 1990. The intent was that, by rapidly training individuals in a core set of design principles, those individuals could become designers of their own environments and able to build increasingly self-sufficient human settlements, ones that reduce society's reliance on industrial systems of production and distribution that Mollison identified as fundamentally and systematically destroying the Earth's ecosystems. While originating as an agroecological design theory, permaculture has developed a large international following of individuals who have received training through intensive two-week-long permaculture design courses. This permaculture community continues to expand on the original teachings of Mollison and his associates, integrating a range of alternative cultural ideas through a network of training, publications, permaculture gardens and internet forums. In this way permaculture has become both a design system as well as a loosely defined philosophy or lifestyle ethic. Last night I had dreamt that somebody loved me. Just another false alarm